Hello guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care. And as you can see, I have the Z Raider attached to my John Deere, my uh, Z920M. If you've watched my other videos, you know that I ordered this Z Raider to go on my Z3X, my 52 inch Z3X. And um, as I've used it, I just, um, I don't really like the way that it performs on that mower. Uh, that mower just isn't heavy enough in the back. Uh, at least that's, I kind of feel like it's not heavy enough in the back because I have uh, trouble with traction and everything. And so I thought I would try it on the, uh, on the Z920 since it's just sitting around doing nothing right now anyway until leaf cleanup starts. So <clears throat> what I had to do was you can see where I welded right here and I just welded an extension of the same size 2 inch by 2 inch square tube so that I could bolt it to this mower using the factory bolt, bolt holes. Um, there's a bolt that goes in right there and then same over here and like I said those are just the factory bolt holes. So what I did is I took the factory bolt out, took the factory bolt out and put a uh, grade 8 bolt in that was 2 inches longer. So, um, gives me just long enough bolt to run it through there, and uh, that way I don't have to drill any holes, make any fancy brackets. It's just bolted directly to the frame. Um, I do have a little bit more clearance, as you can see, between the tire and the tines than I did with the uh, Z3X. It's still pretty close. Um, it still wouldn't hurt for it to be out there a couple more inches, but. Uh, still have my lever in place and it just sets perfectly right here so that works pretty good to operate the uh, open and close so operate the open and close on my spreader uh, got it all wired in which you know is pretty basic I just uh, disconnected it from the battery on the Z3X and connected it to the battery on here so uh, the one thing that is different is that I have my switch for the, sp the spreader is down here and it's just on and off. Um, and then my switch for the Z Raider is right here on the handlebar so it's easy for me to access. So same function, back is up, forward is down. So let me bring it all the way up. So that's all the way in the up position. You can see I've got plenty of plenty of space uh, to be able to get up on ramps and over curbs and things like that. Finally starting to get some fall colors, guys. It took long enough. That is gorgeous.
so the aerator on the John Deere it definitely works better on the John Deere so zero turn versus stand on it definitely works better I do have a little bit better control um, a little bit better turning that being said I'm still not thrilled with uh, how much it does limit you on on how quickly you can turn you have to be very careful not to tear up the turf when you're making turns and maneuvers um, you, know, you can't just go around in, in circles even though that's almost the best way to do it because your inside tire will spin um, every time you, you just can't keep traction on that inside tire also uh, when you're making turns you have to do it almost in a backwards three-point turn to keep from tearing up the turf and even then um, it still wants to kind of dig in and and uh, spin you know the tines will spin in place as they're turning and it'll it'll tear up some turf so you've got to be careful um, it's good quality aeration on the straight passes I mean you, you know it's excellent core aeration um, you know a good three inches deep even um, but I'd say I'm probably only going to use this for the season and then I'll probably be looking to sell it I'm just I just don't really like the way it performs and I think my money would be better spent to just go ahead and get a stand on aerator but in the meantime I'm gonna keep keep working with it keep using it you know maybe it's just me maybe it's just a matter of technique and maneuvers and and I need to work on that so we'll see but as always guys thanks for watching get out there and make some money and we'll catch you on the next one